Things you must do first, project origin, or sometimes that's known as 000. zero, zero. Let's flip over to Revit. When you start up Revit, you start your template using the correct template for the units that you want, metric or imperial. The tendency is to say, let's start drawing a wall right away. And so you start drawing your wall. Now, that's fine, but where is the zero, 00? Where is the origin? Where's the start point? Where's the key point for this particular building that we're working on? Well, why is that important? Well, sometimes when you're collaborating with other people who use Revit, they may be linking in their model, and when they link it in, they don't want it to end up over on the other side. Or if you're using AutoCAD, you try to export a plan, and you export the plan, but where is the zero, 00 for that particular plan? That's always something that comes up. For those of you who use AutoCAD, that's always a main concern. Where is the zero, 00? Well, that's similar with Revit. We want to start off on the right foot by finding the zero, 00 in Revit. It's important to understand this too. The zero, 00 in Revit cannot be moved. And once you start drawing your project, it's very difficult to move that. So let's simply identify where that is. I'm going to click in the project browser, double click on the site view, and now we'll have this plan which comes up. You can see here that there are some elevation markers. That's what these things are. You have the walls I drew, but notice you also have a circle and a triangle together. The circle is called the project base point, and that really is the critical point or the zero, zero. It's important that this matches up with other people's zero, zero or their expectations of what that can be. Now, it can be different for different projects. One typical example would be for a floor plan, like I'm working on right now. Instead of drawing my walls there, what if I were to go to my wall tool and I'm going to draw my walls there instead? Now this is based on a common origin point. Later, we'll discuss how to identify that point in other views. If I go to level 1, you can't see it. You can just see where the walls are. If I go to an elevation view, you can't see it. If I go back to site, yes, you can see it. But we'll discuss on how to identify that. We'll also discuss a little bit about the drawing area, the size, the extents. But for now, the project base point, knowing how to find that when you first start, is a critical thing.